All right, I get it. You are busy as hell and you're trying to figure out how to get fit, lose weight, get more toned and have a better life. Well, how are you supposed to schedule that in with a busy life as a student, as a worker, as someone who has a lot of responsibilities? On today's video, we're gonna be talking about exactly the three strategies that I use to really juggle fitness, finances, life, relationships, all this kind of good stuff. Hey guys, Alex Hine here, author of Master the Day. So the very first thing is to compartmentalize. Break your day into the big chunks so that you can separate your habits down. What I mean is that I treat my morning and the entire day as little chunks, little blocks that occupy spots of time in my schedule. So for example, the morning before work is my first time block. Work or school or whatever you have in the middle of the day is your second block. The post-work phase is your third block, which is usually two or three hours. And then the evening phase is your fourth block, followed by your bed phase, which is your fifth block. So the first thing I want you to do is to actually put those blocks on your calendar so you can actually see what it looks like. You can, first of all, see where the blocks of time actually exist, and then start coming up with the habits and the rituals and the routines that need to go into each block in order to actually reach your goals. And the second thing here is to know your daily rituals and your daily habits. So for me, the morning block of the day, I know that this is my goal setting, meditation, and stretching out routine. So all I have to do is list out those habits in the morning or even on my calendar or on a piece of paper, and that's what I do in the first block of the day. In that third block, after work, after school, whatever you want to classify it as, that's where I list my workout and relax block. So my workout habit is very specific, and then my relax habit is doing whatever I want. And then the fourth block for me is working on my business as well as studying. So since I'm doing a doctoral program in Chinese medicine, while I'm still working and writing books and building things, I have typically a three-hour block in the morning, which is my business, and then I do a three-hour block in the evening after all my classes, which is studying. And sometime in between, I know I really only have to do two other things, which are go to the gym, cook food, and then try to relax. So if you've already followed some of my advice in previous videos, you know that to reach your goals, it's more advantageous to break the goal into daily rituals and daily habits. So if you know, for example, your fitness goal is to lose 30 pounds, well, maybe you just have to do two things on a day-to-day -day basis, cook your food once or twice a week, and then go to the gym. So you have to figure out which block those daily habits end up going into. And if your other goal is to pass your school classes or to do well at work, then maybe for school you have to schedule a two-hour study block every single day. You have to figure out what block of time that goes into, what each habit is, so maybe one habit is history, one is science, one's biology, or maybe if you're studying something for work, it's study this new programming language, take this online course, read this book, and you actually have those habits put down on paper and then put into that time block, that chunk of the day there. And then the third piece of this puzzle is to actually be really selfish with your time and don't watch TV. So for me, what personally has worked for years is that I don't see any friends or any family before Friday at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday night is me time, at which point I'm working. I'm taking care of stuff. For much of my 20s, I had multiple jobs. Now I'm doing a doctoral program while running a business and still taking care of my health. So I'm working a lot of hours, which means that I need the evenings and I need the mornings to myself. So I'm not hanging out with friends Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday before Friday at 6 or 7 p.m. And then the weekends are personally open. So if you do that, think about how much time you can invest into other things that are important. Maybe that means your relationship. Maybe that means a financial goal. Maybe it means a health goal. Maybe it means hanging out with friends. You have to decide. But the funny thing is, is that most people come home from work and they sit down from 7 o'clock until 11 o'clock in front of the TV watching Netflix on the couch. Imagine what you could get done if you used even one of those hours wisely going after one of the goals you're trying to work on for the year. So for me, the quick recap is that I compartmentalize. I break my day into blocks that are listed by the number of hours I have in that block as well as what I'm trying to do. From there, I actually have the habits for each of my goals broken down on a piece of paper or in an Evernote document. And then I try to figure out where is the best time to schedule those habits. For example, if it's something hard, 
Maybe I want to do it first thing in the morning. If it's a meditation or a wind up ritual, maybe I do it in the morning. And if it's a reading, maybe I put that at night. And then from there, it's about getting really selfish with your time. Make sure you are not wasting the in-between moments, those 30 minutes to an hour you have throughout the day, being strategic on the before, the after block, and then making sure those hours really count. All right, guys, so I hope that helps. Before you go, leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to prioritizing things? Comment there below. Hey, guys, it's Alex. Did you like this video? If so, there are really two ways you can stay in touch with me. The first thing is to go over, click the monk, and subscribe so you get the next video right when it's out. I'm releasing at least three videos per week, but often a lot more. The next thing is, come on over and check out my book, Master the Day. It's called Master the Day, Eat, Move, and Live Better with the Power of Daily Habits. And it's all about the tiny daily success habits that I learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds and kept it off years later in a healthy way. The success habits that not only get your dream body, but also your dream life. And as a special thank you, if you get the book, send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com. I'll send you a one hour bonus video course for free. And one important piece of it is an hour sit down success story with my friend and my student, Mike, who lost 30 pounds. So you can go check that out on Amazon right there. The next thing is come on over to my site, modernhealthmonk.com. I've got a free guide for you there, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon.